thing you want to do on the first week is the objectives. So, the reason why I want to do objectives is these fragment coins. These fragment coins you will like, especially the first week. And for everyone else uh, that will not do raid and M+, you will, you will like the coins all the time. Here, there's a vendor. Spinosa. Spinsoa. Unearthened fragment coin exchange. She sells Welpling and Drake fragment. 15 fragments gives you a crest. And you can buy 5, you can buy 10, you can buy 15 directly. Same thing with Drake. When it comes to the Drake, one fragment coin equals one Drake fragment. Since it costs 15, you get 15. Welpling is a little bit cheaper. Welpling will upgrade adventure gear all the way to 411. It will also upgrade veteran gear to 411. Drake will upgrade veteran gear to 424. Drake will also upgrade champion gear to 424. The first four ranks of champion. So that's why you would like to have these, these two. And you get that from outdoor by farming these coins you get coins from the objectives here epic and rare from those objectives the rare ones gives one to three coins the epic one will give you five to eight coins so you should definitely go and farm those you can also get coins from this event the research is on fire this one is every like every hour and you can get you can get rewarded three times from it and this will give you quite a lot of coins we have gone through how this research is on the fireworks, but in general, it's an event where you have to complete 12 objectives, if I'm correct. Completing less objectives during a 25 minute timer, you will get rewarded tier one. Completed more objectives, you're rewarded tier two. Completing more or less all objectives, you'll be rewarded tier three. Tier one will reward all this stuff, and one of them is 15 coins. So that is one, that is 15 fragments, which means one crest. Tier two doubles it to 30. And tier 3, I actually don't know, since there are not so many people here doing this. You must have a lot of people doing this event if you want to complete tier 3. Anyway, this weekly one is really, really good for the coins. You will get around 30 plus the 15, that's 45, and then plus a tier 3, maybe come up to 100, you know? So that event is super, super good. And then after that event, you just farm the, the objectives. You buy the stuff here, you get the crest, you get the fragments, make it to a crest, upgrade your gear. And this you definitely do first week, even maybe second and third week, because it's it goes to a pretty high eye level. If you don't want gear, you buy these baubles for these coins. And there's a vendor next to him, a bauble vendor, where you can buy a pet, a snail, or a mount that we still cannot see how it looks, but a mount, an elephant mount, and another another mount. So flying and a non-flying mount. 400, 150. So yeah, that's really good. So definitely do that. And the problem is with these objectives, like we see three because we are close to them. Let me see now how many we actually will see if I fly around. Because you might think like, oh, but that's only three objectives, but it's actually much more. Now these disappeared. One new popped up there because I came closer. Two more popped up there because I came closer. So over here is three more. So in total it was four on this side, it was three up there. One popped up here when I came closer. Four, seven, that's eight. And if I fly even more here, three more popped up. That's 11 down here. Let's see how many pops up down here. Okay, one more, that's 12. And it's like mixed, epic and non-epic. One more, that's 13. Not these three that we saw in the beginning. So yeah, that's a nice, nice chunk of uh, objectives. And objectives seem that they have the same spawn time as world quests. So two times a week. There's quite quite a lot of fragments you can farm, which you should. No matter like, well, I mean, quite a lot of people are gonna need it. Let's put it like that for gear. And if you don't want the gear, you can buy, you know, cosmetics or whatever. First week, you should definitely do it, no matter what you're doing in the game. When it comes to like different difficulties off season two later. But yeah, it's gonna be so much nice to do it later when uh, when more people will come. Cause this one, for example, I have to run around, pick these up, and throw it on on this one. And look 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 at the bar, 17%. It's gonna take ages. So yeah, it's like it's like community events, sort of. So 13, it's mixed 25 rep and 50 rep as well. Not only the coins. So it gives you a nice chunk of rep, except for the nice chunk of coins.